on you guys this is your boy the death smasher and welcome back to yet another bleach brave souls character showcase and today we are going to be showcasing a max transcended t20 technique baragon and uh, shout outs to my boy bike for allowing me to use his account for the showcase because if it weren't for his help the video would not have been possible so thanks again my guy anyways this character is literally meant for gq and right now it's pretty much the perfect time to showcase him because we do have melee as spot at gq ongoing and from what he told me this character is actually pretty bad for what he's actually meant to be used for now i pretty much took it for word however i'm not expecting him to be the greatest because he's definitely not better than thousand year blow rukia for guild quests but like we'll see once we get around to it so i'm just gonna mainly showcase him for pve and of course gq so uh yeah, Oronkro slash Espada unit with the Espada killer. Strong attack reaches time of minus 12% as a soul trait, and his is max transcended with 500 SP. So, pretty good. Exactly what you would need, and the bonus abilities, he did give him full stamina, damage boost, and weakened defense, which is exactly what you would want to have on this character. So, in terms of the overall abilities, he does have weakening on everything as well as weakening immunity. Perfect, which is exactly what you would want to have for guild quests. However, having weakening can be a hit or a miss because in this case for Baragon, for when it comes to GQ, it does make the Soul Bomb nuke really, 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 really hard. But at the same time, he doesn't have double status elements and uh, he only has a 20% Berserker here. So like it's not 60 like 5th Anniversary Ichigo or anything of that kind of caliber. So it's a bit of a yikes. But taking a look at everything else, he only has a 20% Bruiser, 20% Berserker has a devastation of 40%, Frenzy plus 1, the Bow Terror plus 5 seconds, 30% melee damage and guild quests, outside of that it's 10%, and also has weakened defense as the actual 6-star skill. Yes, it's also as an actual 6-star skill, so you can go for double weakened defense on this character. And Sprinter plus 1. Honestly, the main issue that I have with this character is him not having Havoc, and of course him only having a 20% Berserker, which is actually kind of low, and I can actually understand if he doesn't perform in guild quests, that is basically going to be the main reason as to why he's not going to be all that great. And not to mention, I even noticed he doesn't even have the increased killer effect in guild quests, so yeah. But for now, let's just wait until we showcase him in guild quests, and for the time being, just showcase him in uh, PvE. So yeah, I'm not already expecting the best damage numbers, so I figure we may as well do a quick hybrid SAR SAD setup on this character just to show you guys how this guy would perform for uh, PvE and get an overall general idea of how this character plays out. So <clears throat> roll me the bill, thank you very much. Accessories, we have the teacup, the bait, and the pill all with 30% SP and the links are pretty much all hybrid links being the Chad with FSD 25 and 12% SAR, Flyson with 12% SAR and FSD 16, and then we'll bring Ichigo with sad 20 and 10% SAR. So overall, we do have his uh, full stamina damage boost increased up at a good 66% while also having the Berserker buffed up to 40% only because, I mean, it's only full bring Ichigo that is literally giving the strong attack damage increase. But uh, yeah, overall the damage for PvE content is actually going to be quite good despite not having the Espada chair, but like... Realistically speaking, we have these accessories to help us out with getting the damage out, so it's not that problematic. And to make matters even better, we also have ourselves Gears Bow Grimjow because he gives out an additional 20% strong attack damage to our Ronkers, and then we have Halibel that can boost on the second strong attack, as you guys can see right over here. So yeah, that's all you guys really need to know. And the overall SP that we have on this character is, uh, hold on, I'm kind of getting a bit lost up in here. Almost 6k. Almost 6k. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into the actual uh, showcase for PvE. So, here we are in IZ, and 
this guy, fortunately enough, he at least did get the good kit because he does have a 2500 length beam on the SA1, the SA2 is 800 radius in front, and then the third Tron attack is full screen. So yeah, he does have the good kit. The only main issue is that this guy just doesn't have Havoc and only has a 20% Berserker. Not to mention, his Spotter Killer is literally what's gonna make things worse for when it comes to PvE content in general. He doesn't have the 80% SP buff, he doesn't have high multipliers, so like, for every single bit of single player content that we have in the game, he's literally not gonna be meant to be used for hard content. So like, for IT, I definitely advise against using this character, even if he is max transcended, even if he is T20. So yeah, just to give you guys an overall general idea, so yeah. And by the way, lads, this character is basically Tech Rukia, but with an Espada killer, and um, yeah. That's literally what this character is now that I actually think about it, so yeah. And he is also putting in the work, but obviously it's not the greatest. It's actually not the greatest, and we can clearly see it since he doesn't even have killer. So, uh, yeah, let's boost up with Halibel, switch over to Botagon, and now 27k, 33k, okay, that's not too shabby. Can I get the SA3 back in time? Yeah, 29k. So, yeah, the damage numbers are definitely not the highest, even when it max transcended, so... Yeah, keep in mind, he's basically never gonna have Killer activated in any type of single-player content at all. Like, it's mainly gonna be in Gil Quests and Gil Quests only. And the thing is, we've gotten a lot of GQ characters that, even outside of GQ, just happen to be really insanely good. Prime example being Abirama and the Kakao Society. Oh, but that's literally because they really have insanely high multipliers that they just don't even need to use Killer to kill enemies in hard content. Whereas this Botagon, only 20% Berserker, and uh, yeah. I've basically said enough. But now, let's go ahead and jump into uh, GQ and showcase him from there, since it's gonna be the main course for this showcase. All right, so here we are for Guild Quests, and I'm not gonna lie, the team is actually pretty damn optimal, if I do say so myself, considering we're about to use Botagon in GQ. But uh, yeah, anyways, the setup, we have the Masanga T-Set and the um, Tension Tight, excuse me, not T-Set, Teacup. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, full-on hybrid SAR, SAD setup. Um, why is he not running full stand? Hold on. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. The first ticket, we'll run this type of setup. And then the second one, we'll pop a Sinkaz and see how much of a difference that'll actually do. As for the other support characters, we have ourselves... Oh, look at that. A semi-max transcendent fierce battle Yoruichi with 500 attack, which is actually pretty good. And is T20 with full stamina, damage boost, and weakened resistance. Really, really, really good. So, yeah. Okay. Not bad. And then we have Lunar Rukia, who is just gonna be one of the best boosters to use if, uh, in general. Like, she's actually gonna be better to use over, per se, the likes of Thousand Year Blower and Nanao. So, yeah. Is T20 with, uh, hold on. Full stamina, damage boost, and weakened resistance. All right, all right. That's actually pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see how well he does in Guild Quest, so let's get into it. Okay, here we are, and I'm not really expecting to do great with this character, so, uh, yeah. Okay, not too- oh wait, that's right, the boss is power up, so we're not gonna be doing good damage. Hmm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really feeling this character in terms of DPS, like, we need to stay back, and already, like, the Nat units lose way too much- Bro, what, what is this? Hold on. I don't like this. I actually don't like this. Uh, let me reset, I'm sorry. Okay, another attempt, and uh, once we beat this, we'll uh, swap out the links for full stam links and see how much better we'll do, but like... Oh wow, I, I missed that as I threw. Him not having Havoc sucks. His damage output is actually really low here. It's really not that good. Kill, there we go. Come on. Bro. Can I just say this? My 2 out of 5 Kakao Society Ukiora does better than a Max Transcended Tech Botagon. No freaking cap, honestly. Because I was able to get sub 20 in with this character. Considering he's made for guild quests and everything, he doesn't even do the best. 
What is this? What is this? I know I didn't do better compared to Bai, because, like, I couldn't see the actual progress he did there. Like, he almost managed to do sub-20, and I'm pretty sure it took quite a lot of resets, and, yeah, I did suck here. I'll admit it, I did suck here, but the point shows that this character for Gilquist actually does suck, honestly. And you know what? Let's switch it up and go for Sinkaizen, because screw this, bro. I, 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 need, I need more damage. I'm not gonna lie, this is not helping, so... Bye bye, Sarfon. I'm sorry, but no. You need to get off. And, uh. Do I? I need a bit of cooldown now that I think about it. Screw it. Yeah. Okay. We'll just keep this in Kaizen. And let's just jump back into Guild Quest. So hopefully we'll do better. Okay. Here we go. And, uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's let. Okay. Damage output still sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's mainly Yoichi doing most of the damage, bro. Okay. Oh, but now we're doing a bit better. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, not the best. It did a lot better, but, like... Man, this is kind of sad. This is actually kind of sad. Like, you're better off getting uh, the Thousand Year Blow of Rukia 5-5. And, of course, if you have Kakao Sasai Okiora... Please use him over Botagon, honestly speaking. <laughs> this is actually pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Now I see why this Botagon is actually pretty bad for guild quests. And honestly speaking, if it were me, I'd just 5-5 five five him and just keep him untouched as is, honestly speaking. So, yeah. Ouch. Him really lacking that killer effect of plus 50% and only having a 20% Berserker really freaking stings man it really freaking stings so to conclude this showcase only max transcend this character if you're an actual baragon fan and you see yourself using this character a lot because other than that for a spotted gq we literally have better units like thousand year blower rukia and we even have kakao society okiora who will actually do pretty damn good even in melee as spotted gq despite being a ranged character the fact that he has those damn insane multipliers and even has the 80% attack buff, you'll just outperform Baragon any freaking day of the actual week. And in terms of being a tech character, bro, there's literally like so many better tech characters to use over this character because we have Arcbook Ichigo, we have Spirits Are Forever with Uretsu, we have Kakao Society Grimjow, we have Arena Tsukishima, like we have a lot more better characters to use over this Baragon than I just don't see him being worth the effort of trying to get him 5-5 and max transcending him and getting him to T20. And that's just my overall personal opinion. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, Bike, thanks again, mate. It was really appreciated. And uh, if you guys have actually enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. More videos are going to be on the way, so stay tuned for that, lads. This has been your brother, Das Smasher, and I am officially signing out. Take care, lads. Peace out. Oh, oh, oh.